Hello everyone, I am creating digital elevation model using SAR interferometry technique using the data set from Sentinel-1 SAR imagery and the site is Kathmandu, Nepal. Uh, these are the details of my work. Uh, I will be using SNAP and SNAP. And these are the DM creation steps which I am going to follow uh, to get the output. These are two sentinel pair and the region is shown here and here is the Kathmandu region. Now I will split the image. Uh, for the first image in person parameter, I'm going to choose second swath, choose a baby polarization mode and use only the bottom to burst, then uh, run, apply and repeat the same step for second image again. Now after split, apply the orbit file into both of the split images, accept the default setting and run. Do the same for second images. Now apply core registration using core registration as one top score registration back geocoding. Add both of the images back geocoding. Uh, use the external DIN. Here is a location of my external DIN and then run. Now let's create the interferogram. Interferogram formations. These parameters are okay, but in this person parameters, here we subtract the flat earth phase, but we never subtract topographic phase because we wanted to create the DAM and the DAM information comes from topographic phase. So we should retain this and run. Here is the created interferogram. This is the interferogram we just created and we used uh, two burst and here is the burst gap. We need to remove this uh, this gap. Let's deburst these uh, burst gap using S1 tops deburst accept the default settings and then run and now this is the uh, burst gap removed interferogram there is uh, no horizontal gap this interferogram does not look smooth so we apply a gold stain freeze filtering I accepted the default settings and then run Now we do the multi-looking, sorry utilities, multi-looking, accept the default settings and then run. Multi-looking uh, will convert the slant range geometry into a ground range geometry. The result after multi-looking looks like this. Now let's convert the multi-loop interferogram into SNAFU readable uh, format using the SNAFU export tool. This is the multi-loop interferogram and SNAFU export option. Choose topo in statistical cost mode and provide the target folder and then run. After the SNAFU export, these are the files. This is the interferogram in .snafu.hdr file. Here is the snafu.com file. This com file uh, contains the uh, command line, which will be input to a snafu command. Let's run the snafu. Okay, phase on wrapping using the snafu tool is completed now. Now let's import unwrapped interferogram using SNAFU import. 
uh, our on wrapped interferogram is inside this directory and this is the on wrapped interferogram. Let's leave on the option as it is and run. On wrapped uh, interferogram appears like this. Okay. Now let's convert this on wrapped phase into an elevation using uh, using interferometric products phase to elevation tool. Uh, in in phase to elevation tool, in processing parameter tab, let's use the external beam. Let's provide the location of external beam, and this is the external beam I'm using, and then run. Now the created beam appears like this. Now let's georeference this beam uh, by using geometric terrain correction range Doppler terrain corrections and in this uh, step inside the processing parameters again let's use the external beam and this is my external beam now let's run the tool this is the georeferenced beam now let's export uh, this dem in uh, GOT format. Export GOT uh, e dem one export product. Here is the exported uh, dem. Now the dem in GOT format here visualized in ArcMap. Let's uh, apply your inside effect. Okay, after applying inside effect, it looks like this, and this is the final theme from soil interferometry. 